Boo and Simba have been having a cat fight through the gates. Boo has been taking flying leaps at this gate and uh, Simba's been on this side, not making things much better. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Boo ate all of his dinner yesterday. That includes the dog food nugget with the additional vegetable matter in it. So uh, the cats enjoyed those. And this morning he's getting the Primal Raw Rabbit Nugget. This is uh, the cat food formula. When he's done with this one, he's gonna get the dog food formula. And um, I just wanna see how it goes with that because those have 8% more vegetable matter in them. I put two bench and field treats on his breakfast nugget because I know he likes those and those have good vitamins and minerals in those. And uh, there's additional water down there and I think I put a drop of an herbal extract. Good morning, Stella. I just dropped one of these small plates that I normally feed Boo on. I dropped it on the kitchen floor and it broke and um, shattered. So I have the cats down here. Boo's in his room with the door shut. The cats are down here because I don't want them, you know, walking around um, in the broken ceramic. And I took the vacuum upstairs to vacuum the kitchen and then I was like, well, might as well vacuum the rest of the house. So I did that. And then I came down here and I said, let me vacuum downstairs with the cats. And I found a present waiting for me. And look what we have here, another disgusting hairball. I think it might be from Stella because Stella was kind of lethargic last night. And um, I don't know, it could be Simba though because he was trying to lay in it right now. Okay, look what else I just found. And it's funny because the cats tried to hide this one. I don't know if I caught it on film, but the corner of this rug was folded over. And uh, I just went to fold it back down because I want to vacuum it. And when I felt, and when I folded it down, I found this. So it looks like the cats tried to hide this by folding the rug over it. And uh, this looks like uh, crunchy vomit from last night. Someone had too many crunchies. So for breakfast, the cats are getting Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets and they're getting three of the cat nuggets and three of the dog nuggets. The dog nuggets are the darker nuggets. Again, this is just part of an experiment. The dog nuggets are pretty much the same exact ingredients as the cat nuggets, but the dog nuggets have 8% more vegetable matter in them. And I'm just curious to see if the cats like them and um, how that goes. I put one bench and field treat on each nugget because the cats have to wait a while for their breakfast today. And I find it curious, so Simba's eating one of the dog food nuggets, Stella's eating the dog food nugget, Splash is like right in the middle of a dog food nugget and a cat food nugget. It looks like he's at the cat food nugget. They definitely like them. I'm not 100% sold on the dog food nuggets because they're uh, high in collard greens. Stella ate that all up. Let me tell you what's going on with the cats this morning. So Stella was on top of the cat tower in my room. And then Simba jumped on the bed. And Simba was like bothering me and bothering me. And I was like, what do you want, Simba? I'm trying to get ready for my day. And then I said, oh, you want to be brushed. So I took the brush out and I brushed him. And he was super, super happy. And then 
I was trying to get ready for my day and Stella kept bothering me and I was like, what's going on, Stella? What do you want? And then I realized, oh, she wants to be brushed. As soon as I realized it, she jumped up on the bed and I got the brush and I have been brushing her and she's been super happy. So we're at the point now where Simba and Stella are telling me that they want to be brushed. I think maybe um, the hairballs are not comfortable for them. So I've been in the kitchen making salad and Boo and Simba have been having a cat fight through the gates. Boo has been taking flying leaps at this gate and uh, Simba's been on this side, not making things much better. about 8 p.m. right now and I put some food out for Hydrox a little while ago. Uh, when I came home about maybe like an hour ago, Hydrox was laying in the driveway. And then when I pulled up, he ran, but I don't know where he ran to. Um, so food's there if he wants it. It is 10.30 p.m. right now and I feel like I really haven't taken much video footage today because I've been trying to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, but Boo was a very good boy today. He slept on the bed last night or part of last night. He spent half of last night in the cat tower and then half of last night on the bed. And then um, he ate breakfast in his room and he stayed in his room during the day and he had a good sleep on his day bed. And then when I got home, he's been on free roam. He ran around the house like crazy for a while. Then we had really bad thunderstorms, like really bad. And he wasn't even scared at all. Stella and Splash were like all freaked out. They were downstairs and they were looking out the back door when it started. And oh my gosh, I, I don't remember the last time I saw Splash that afraid. Simba has been in my room. Um, I just want to keep him separate and resting. Left Every time I check, he's been hanging out on my bed, just like relaxing. Um, so I spent some time with Boo and now I am going to put him in his room for the night and the other cats are going to come upstairs. And uh, yeah, and then tomorrow's another day. But um, so he already had some crunchies in this um, Kong tipping treat uh, just a short while ago, I want to say five or ten minutes ago. Um, but for me to get him back in his room, I have to like entice him. When he sees this uh, tub of crunchies, he kind of follows it around. So that's how I entice him back into his room. So right now I'm going to give him some crunchies in this tip and treat and then he'll uh, be set for the night. And uh, what I'll do is I'll move the gates and put them in his door. He eats so fast. So while he is eating the crunchies out of this interactive feeder, it's my chance to kind of escape from the room without him following me out. Here's Simba. Simba's been laying on the bed. I just came into the room. Simba also had some crunchies a little while ago. I gave him like a heaping tablespoon of crunchies. Simba's been a very good boy today also. They're always good when um, 
they're not hanging out with each other. <laughs> so Simba was on relaxation mode today. He was in like recovery room mode, right Simba? You're a good boy Simba! They all got brushed earlier today. Simba's a long cat. Right Sims? Simba loves relaxing on the bed. It makes him feel special. When I look in, like if I peek in the door, he looks at me like, look, I'm hanging out on the bed. Like right now the door is open. He could leave the room if he wants, but he doesn't want to. Simba likes being spoiled, right? Simba, you like being a little spoiled cat? A little spoiled kitty? He's purring. Okay, Simba, you could lay here tonight. You could hang out here, it's okay. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.